man. It's your motherfucking boy, Rad Ski, man. And you already know, man. It's FDM motherfucking 8, man. Sorry for the motherfucking wait, man. I know y'all been waiting for this motherfucker for a long time, man. But, you know, niggas got real motherfucking issues, man. Real motherfucking issues, man. So, you know what I'm saying? We don't mean to put this shit, you know what I mean, on the back burner. But, you know what I'm saying? Niggas got the real issues, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? But, you know, we here. It's a new motherfucking year. You know what I'm saying? All summer 16. You know what I'm saying? You bum bitches, you hear me? All summer 16. You know what I'm saying? You broke niggas, you hear me? All summer 16. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, we had bigger shit to worry about. You know what I mean? Me and my man Neef right now, we out on bail. You know what I'm saying? Shit ain't about nothing. You know what I'm saying? Shit got paid. Niggas out. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I mean? That's the shit we on, you know what I mean? We trying to, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know, duck and weave and do what we got to do to stay the fuck out here, man. If y'all, if y'all give a fuck about that, or y'all just give a fuck about the rap, you know what I'm saying? Y'all just give a fuck about rapping and skits and all that. Nigg- niggas got real issues, man. You know what I'm saying? Real issues. This is different between a nigga that rap and a nigga that, that that's rappers. You know what I mean? My man just having a rap. <laughs> He's not no motherfucking rapper. I'm motherfucking so sorry, but you know what I mean? We're going to get on what I got on and get on, and that's... You suck-ass niggas keep coming to me asking me what the fuck Neef doing for me. <laughs> what the fuck Neef doing for me? I'm a nigga out here been out running around in these motherfucking streets for so motherfucking long. You going to disrespect a nigga like me and say, damn, why Neef don't be... Why Neef don't do what for who? I'm a grown motherfucking man. I got two arms and two legs, and he do too. Man, you niggas is disrespecting me more than y'all disrespecting him by asking me that shit. And then sometimes half of the time when niggas telling me shit like that, I sit back and look down at myself, and then I look down at them. I'm fresher than a motherfucker. And you asking me why a nigga ain't doing for me, why a nigga ain't doing for you? I don't need no nigga to do for me while I'm on the streets. I don't need no nigga to do for me while I'm, I'm able to do for my motherfucking self. But you know what that nigga was doing? When they ran in my motherfucking house and locked my monkey ass up? He answered every motherfucking call. And you know who came and bailed me out? Neef Buck came and bailed me out. You motherfuckers ain't give a fuck about me. So the same motherfucker worrying about Neef Buck, what he doing for me... That nigga did what Villanova did tonight. He was there in the motherfucking clutch, and that's what I need him to do. I need you to be there in the motherfucking clutch. Fuck the first half, nigga. I need you in the fourth motherfucking quarter, nigga. I need you in the fourth quarter when it's clutch time, when I need you when I'm back against the wall. So don't come to me with no monkey shit like that, man. You niggas is pitiful out here, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to understand. Make me understand, man. Make me understand you niggas, man. Make me understand you niggas, because I ain't understanding you niggas no more, man. You niggas running around. Y'all niggas don't know how to choose sides. So y'all just try to play neutral. But every time you niggas playing neutral, y'all end up in more motherfucking shit than y'all ever been in. You can't play both sides of the fence. I call that hashtag scary bitch ass niggas, man. Cause you niggas all over the place like motherfucking dog shit, man. You niggas all over the place like motherfucking dog shit, man. And it's really motherfucking sad, man. Always the fuck asking me what a nigga doing for me. Nah, I'm sorry to get back on that shit, man. That shit just be eating me the fuck up, man. Because where the fuck is your morals after even asking me some shit like that, man? You think motherfucking Tata got Jay Z money? You think Tata got Jay Z money? Fuck no. You think he happy? Fucking right. Cause niggas is comfortable in their motherfucking positions, man. Everybody wanna be the motherfucking man, man. And that's some real shit, man. You know how much it costs to be the man? You niggas don't even know it costs to be the man. It costs, man. That shit costs a lot of motherfucking money to be the motherfucking man, man. You got money to pay them shooters? You got money to, to, to bail them niggas the fuck out? Everybody want to be a boss till they get a bell call. Everybody want to be that nigga till you got a nigga mom calling you saying he needs 7300 
Then your ball status go dead the fuck out the window. Then you go spinning the lady for 43 motherfucking days that's 53 years old, man. Trust me, it's happened to me. All these niggas was spinning me like a motherfucking top, man. You know what I mean? And it hurt. And I know they, they, like, they like, Rat, why you keep talking about... Because it hurt, man. This shit hurt, man. These niggas is fucking suckers out this joint, man. That's why I stay in my motherfucking zone, man. I do me, man. I never let these niggas take me out my motherfucking zone. Because that's what these niggas want to do, man. These niggas want to take you out your motherfucking zone, man. These niggas want to force your hand. These niggas, want, these niggas want you to kill them. These niggas so miserable, they just want you to take them out their misery so you could go do a hundred motherfucking years, man. I remember back in the day, man, when I was down Clearfield, man, doing my motherfucking thing, man. You know what I'm saying? And I never brung this motherfucking story up, but this shit always eat me up. Because this fat fucks to this day, I don't like this nigga, man. He know the fuck I'm talking to. And it fucks me up because I don't be wanting to pick on no nigga these days. But right now, I know these niggas can't stand it with me. These niggas is suckers, man. These niggas is pussies, man. I hear these niggas paying the hustle and all types of shit. These niggas are suck ass niggas, but let me make the long story short, man, because I ain't want to give this nigga a lot of motherfucking airplay. You, you dirty ass nigga, man. I don't even want to give him a lot of airplay, but I'm down my motherfucking way, man. You know what I'm saying? Down Clearfield. Now, you know, we driving them Grand Marquis. You know the box Jones, the one that called 800, the one, the one Ab kept motherfucking selling his recipes. Ab, the one Ab kept selling us every time the cops took him, they popped up on Ab lot. You know, Ab was, Ab was the best at, best that ever did it with that car shit. So, you know, we buying them left and right. So, I'm down Clearfield. And you know a nigga that I grew up with since Jay High tried to firebomb my motherfucking car, man? This nigga tried to firebomb my motherfucking car, man, and was fucked up. As a lot of the niggas that know what I was about, they know, man, Rat want to fuck them hoes, man. Rat want to rock them clothes, man. Rat want to cop them O's, and Rat want to just stay in his own motherfucking lane, man. I'm the type of nigga that just bought guns for y'all to shoot. Y'all niggas want to be cowboys. I bought the horses for you niggas. What y'all forgot? You niggas got me fucked up. But anyway, the nigga set my motherfucking car on fire, man. Well, he tried. So he just poured gasoline all on my motherfucking car. And I'm out my motherfucking window all the way riding home looking like Ace motherfucking Ventura because there's motherfucking gasoline all in my motherfucking car, man. I smell gasoline for two motherfucking months, man. I taste gasoline for two motherfucking months. And this was all about a bitch. This is all about a bitch, man. So, you know, niggas, you know, I, I'm in my mind, I'm going to kill this nigga. In my mind, I'm like, damn, this, I'm going to really have to do something to this nigga. Because if I don't do something to this nigga, these niggas going to think it's good. And it's, and it's all right to firebomb my next 20 motherfucking cars I'm going to buy. So I thought about it that night. I said, man, I'm going to kill this motherfucking nigga, man. Man, I, I sat down with one of my OGs. He said, listen, Rat, these niggas want to take you out your zone, young boy. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just telling y'all that story because I want to let a lot of you young niggas know that y'all could be y'all, man. Y'all don't got to be the next nigga. Y'all going to live longer being y'all. Being the next nigga, a nigga going to pull your skirt. As soon as a nigga think you acting like you acting like you that boy and you, they know you're really not, they going to pull your fucking skirt up, nigga. And guess what you going to have under that motherfucking skirt, nigga? Some leopard thongs on, nigga, because you've been a bitch the whole time, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You've been a bitch the whole time, man. You 2016 suck ass niggas. So, you know, in my mind, I'm a killer nigga. But my old head had a talk with me, man. He said, Rat, don't let them niggas take you out your zone, man. You doing your thing right now, man. You know what I mean? You capping little nine ounces, you know what I'm saying? You got you a couple of dollars in the house. You got you 85 pair of sneaks. You got you 192 outfits. You got you 39 bitches. Why are you going to kill this dirt ball? And I thought about it all that night while I was getting my dick sucked. <laughs> all that night while I was getting my dick sucked, I thought about it. I said, you right. So this is the craziest thing. The next day, I call up Ab one. God bless his motherfucker. So I call up Ab. I say, Ab, I need another motherfucking will. Ab said, where you at? I said, you know where I'm at. I'm on my way down the way or whatever. So he said, meet me down the boulevard where his lot was at. I go cop another motherfucking joint. He, he, he gasolined the blue one. I go cop a white one. But this to make the long story short, when I come down, everybody anticipating me to blow my cool. 
Everybody anticipate me to blow this nigga motherfucking head off because I done told like three of my other homies that when I see this nigga is on. So everybody anticipating me to do something crazy so they could take rat out the motherfucking equation. You know what I did, man? And I thought the most gangster shit would have been blowing his head off, but you know what I did? I walked past every last single one of them niggas that thought I was going to do something. Jumped out a brand new car, first of all. Walked past all them niggas. One in motherfucking Kleins. Got a Dutch and a motherfucking water. And told the people that was waiting for me, how fucking many. You know how them niggas looked at me? They looked at me like, you gotta be kidding me. Nigga, fuck that car. Nigga, I'm right back to business, man. I'm right back to business. You niggas could never take me out my zone, man. Y'all can't take me out my zone, man. Y'all would never be able to. Nigga just motherfucking crazy, man. That, I, I, that's the only thing I could come up with, man. These niggas is crazy, man. That's why God, man, God taking too many real niggas, man, to leaving these fake niggas around, man. God got the best company in the world. You niggas got to think about it, man. God got the best company in the world, man. Like, he taking the realest niggas. You, come on, come on. Take some of these fake ass niggas, man. Please, man. Take some of these fake ass niggas, man. God taking so many real niggas, man. I'm starting to question them about me, like, Nigga, you killed Biggie and Pac. Why the fuck am I still down here? Like you got all the you got all the killers, which you got all the like God, like now I'm, what the fuck am I still doing down here with these niggas, man? These niggas ain't my breed. You took all my niggas. You took all the breed of my niggas. Why the fuck you leaving me down here with these these skittle and bits ass niggas, man? These back door ass niggas, man. What what's going on, God, man? I'm talking to you right now, man. I'm talking to you, man. You took Michael and kept Tito. You took Michael and kept Tito. What the fuck, man? And I know you bitches probably was sitting back like, damn, he getting on these niggas. Oh, man. You bitches about to get this fucking work. I'm about to make you bitches cry. I hate you bitches, man. You bitches get on my motherfucking nerves, you bum-ass bitches. All you bum ass bitches get the fuck on my nerves. I hate a bitch that 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 always talking that broke nigga shit. I listen, listen. From now on, a bitch can never call me broke. How can y'all niggas let a bitch call you broke? You know what you supposed to tell a bitch that call you broke? Bitch, you broke too. <laughs> How about that? Bitch, you broke too. <laughs> What's wrong with your account? Damn, rat, you on drive? No, bitch, do you? No, well, what, well, what's wrong with your legs, bitch? I'm pretty sure you drove past as many car lots as the fuck I drove by. Why you ain't stop? Bitch, always acting like it's a thing about men. Bitch, Oprah is rich. She, she yeah, she's a, she's a bitch. She got a pussy. You always trying to put the pressure on us. You, bitch, y'all gonna never put no pressure on me. You bitches broke. You bitches still live with y'all mom. Y'all bitches is broke. Y'all bitches don't got nothing to do. You bitches is broke out here. Bitches always sitting there. One bitch gonna sit there and tell me, yeah. Like, I'm sitting there. She tell me, yeah, right. I, I do this. I'm about to go to nursing school. Yeah, I got my bachelor's degree. She telling me all this shit. I'm listening to everything. When this bitch was finished, I told her, is you fucking? I don't give a fuck about none of your occupations. Bitch, I ain't broke this year. I don't need a check. Is your fucking? I wouldn't give a fuck if you was about to go to the moon. I wouldn't give a fuck if you was an astronaut. Bitch, can you suck this dick on the moon? Can you do that? Cause bitch, I don't give a fuck about what you do. These bitches is crazy, man. Bitches running around with this Instagram shit. You bitches following four thousand motherfuckers and three hundred following y'all. That mean you worrying about more motherfuckers than yourself. You worried about more motherfuckers than yourself, man. These bitches out here looking like Air Force Ones, man. These bitches ones and duns, man. These bitches is two wares. These bitches is two wares. You know, I like the Michael Jordan bitches. You know, you know, you know, you know Michael Jordan. You know, you could throw in the closet and bring that bitch out in the summer and wipe it off and bring it back out. You bitches is like Air Force Ones. Y'all get wrinkled 
on the first motherfucking where. Man, I don't like you bitches, man. You bitches run around with drug dealers all your life. Then soon as a nigga get pickled, y'all catch amnesia. Soon as a nigga get pickled, now your mom and y'all dad don't like him. Y'all knew what the fuck he was doing when he was coming in with all that. That nigga stayed in the house all day and counted money. What the fuck y'all thought he was doing? What y'all thought he was doing? What the fuck y'all thought he was doing? Now y'all don't want nothing to do with him. Now you fucking around on him. Bitch, I hope you catch AIDS in your fucking throat. You dirty, stinking ass bitch. Y'all bitches is pitiful out here, man. Stone Cold pitiful. And I'm going to tear y'all asses up tonight. I'm going to tear you bitches up. Y'all ain't going to... If it wasn't with between your legs, bitch, I wouldn't deal with you bitches. I would throw dog shit on you bitches. Because I can't stand you bitches. If it wasn't what was between your legs, bitch, I wouldn't have nothing to do with you, bitch. I wouldn't fuck with you, bitch. At all, bitch. Bitch gonna call me. Oh, oh, oh. Who, 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 who you following? Who you following? Who that? You always ran about Instagram shit. Who you following? That bitch, uh, deep throat underscore 216. Bitch, you need to follow her and take some motherfucking notes. Miss Sharky, Miss Can't Get Past My Head. Bitch, you need to go on her page and follow her. Fuck is you asking me questions for? The name speak for itself. Why I'm following her. You dumb bitch. The bitch say, why you follow her? Underscore deep throat 216. I said, bitch, is you crazy? Bitch, is you crazy? Always talking about taking you personal. Bitch, I'd rather have a kickboxing match with Bruce Lee. Instagram, man. Knowing them babies supposed to be on motherfucking, uh, on a uh, Facebook. Fucking babies got MySpace faces, man. Always talking about my everything. That's exactly what that baby look like, everything. Stop posting that baby, man. I'm tired of you posting that fucking baby, man. That baby ugly. That baby ugly as shit, man. The baby ugly. You got ugly motherfucking baby. Y'all bitches just don't care. Just like when y'all, when y'all with y'all retarded clients, y'all got them at the mall, they trailing behind y'all, y'all act like y'all embarrassed about, which, listen, watch your fucking client, cause next time one of them motherfuckers walk up on me looking like a zombie, I'ma knock one of them motherfuckers out, because I ain't know what was going on. I'm looking at the alpha, some jeans, one of these motherfuckers popped out, looking crazy with you. I'm like, who the fuck, who the, who the, who the fuck is you, nigga? She talking about, no, that's my client. Well, bitch, watch your client. If I knock this, this retarded motherfucker out, he scared the shit out of me. Nigga really scared the shit out of me, man. And you in there spending his money, but you ain't watching him. He's sitting there drooling on all, all, his, all the clothes and shit, man. Watch this nigga, man. This big foot ass, big goofy, like white, crazy looking motherfucker, man, ran down on me, man. The fuck is going on? Watch your clients, you dirty bitch. All you worrying about is getting paid. That's all the fuck y'all worrying about is getting the fuck paid, man. All these motherfucking party promoters. Everybody's a motherfucking party promoter. I'm glad you don't got to go to school for that. I'm glad you don't got to go to school for that because everybody be looking for motherfucking money for their next semester. Everybody a motherfucking fucking promoter, man. This shit is getting pitiful, man. This shit is really getting pitiful, man. This bitch invited me somewhere, man. I swear to God on my life, man. It was her, her aunt, and like two of her fucking girlfriends in there. And they had a nerve to make me pay $10. They had a, they had a nerve to make me pay $10 to get in the motherfucking club. And they had a nerve to put the $10 in the box. I'm looking like you could have put that shit in your pistol pocket. You could have put that shit in your pocket. Like, what the fuck is going on? So I sat there for a minute, bought a drink. Then I'm like, I'm out. She like, you leave? And I'm like, yeah, bitch, if I stay, I'm going to fall asleep. Like, what the fuck? Ain't, ain't shit going on. Like, I got to get the fuck out of here, man. But you know, everybody party promoters, man. You know what I mean? These DJs out here going through more beef than Aaron Jones. Yeah, DJ Boo, I'm on your ass. If man, listen, man. If you, if I ain't no DJ Boo, I think he was Kabani Savage, man. This nigga being more shit than than 
than, 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 a, than a drug dealer. He's a motherfucking DJ. This nigga been in shootouts, robberies. DJ Boo, man, you need to pick another occupation, man. You the only DJ that need a motherfucking bodyguard, man. You being more shit than anybody, and you a motherfucking DJ, man. What the fuck is going on, boo? Boo, you being too much shit, boo. I don't know, boo. I heard you pay very well, boo, but why you on your name? If I didn't know you, boo, I'd be like, damn, that nigga, he be all, he in some shit. What block he got? What he got, the wet down 23rd and Diamond? No, he just got mezzanine. What the fuck? He in some shit. That'll let you know. That shit always ain't a good job. Boo know what the fuck he doing, but y'all going to get fucked around. So stop the party promoter shit, because y'all bitches is reaching for that. Everybody party promoters. Bitches boxing now. They playing football. These bitches playing hockey. They playing tennis. Onyx versus Vanity. Motherfucking ping pong match. They doing all types of shit. Motherfucker just coming up with shit. Like this shit is getting really motherfucking sad, man. Really sad. 822 Playhouse Monkey in the middle. Like what the fuck is going on? You motherfucker just waking up making up shit. Y'all motherfuckers need to stop, man. Everybody can't do that, man. Everybody can't do that. That can't be everybody's occupation, man. Everybody can't be a promoter. I tried. I tried. I had Sorakathon, and I guaranteed you we were selling all you niggas Amsterdam. Yes. 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 Mont's PNB manager now. He don't care no more. Yes. The Sorakathons, it never was Sorak. It was Amsterdam. We had you niggas, you niggas keep talking about some rock slushy. I got you. Where's the Amsterdam, man? Huh? Give me the motherfucking Amsterdam. You know what I mean? But you know what I mean? You know what I mean? When we see him coming, we see him coming. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? Some niggas here to get got. <laughs> everybody ain't here to be treated like a good nigga. That's what you niggas got to realize. You can't treat every nigga like a good nigga because every nigga ain't a good nigga. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I'm going to leave it, man. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all wanted to hear a lot more funny shit, all rap funny. Listen, man, I did this shit for my man because that's my motherfucking man, man. Shout out my motherfucking man, Neef, man. Shout out Nike's Town. Shout out 15C. Shout out North Philly. Shout out West Philly, man. Y'all know who the fuck I do this shit for, man. I do this shit for y'all. I don't do this shit for no crumbs. I do this shit for real niggas and real bitches, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if the shoe fit, wear it. Tie it the fuck up. I hope it string up like a motherfucking wrestling shoe, nigga. Fuck you, niggas, niggas. YG for life, nigga. Run up, nigga, and get done up, nigga. Holla at me.